Where's that start? It reminds me a lot of um the Nopon area from part one. Lock the forest. Look at this, this is... Someone made this. Yeah, it's a Nopon Braid Bridge. Are there Nopon over here? No, you can post the link. Thirty-three up here. No pawn high road. Cool. Hey, minus. No one has tried to explain it to me yet, and I tried to read the manual and found out that my manual is like corrupted or something. So my entire Wii U just crashes with the memory error if I try to read the manual. Oh, a Reddit post that explains Overdrive? I can't read that right now, but that'll be helpful later. Thank you, I'll save that. I've heard that it's complicated. That's all I know. And the game doesn't tell you at all. The game's like, hey, you got Overdrive now. And, th and that's it. That's all it says. <laughs> like the opposite is Xenoblade 2. And they all did a video on Overdrive? I'll check that out. Oh, that, that's what you linked. Sweet. Okay. Cool. And they makes pretty good videos. We must be close to like a Nopon town or something. We don't need to get any more nav points over here, though. We need to head the other way. Be careful about which way I'm going. The jump. Alright, her comm device is straight to the west, and so is one of the things we need. But since I'm up here, I kind of want to follow this path. At one point, at the point where I know if you know what you're doing, you can defeat pretty much any enemy in the game. You can reliably hit and take no damage back. Well, I don't know of any enemy that I can reliably hit and take no damage back for the most part. Like if they're higher level than me, they can hit me. I take damage. Overdrive is busted. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need to understand the systems of the game a lot more to be able to exploit that, I think. I mean, first of all, I gotta get, like, maxed out TP to even activate it, right? Oh, shit. You can use overdrive in order to take no damage. Oh, okay. So, I can defeat any enemy that I can reliably hit and take no damage? That seems very busted. I have to figure out how to use this, I guess. It's really sad that I can't use the in-game manual. <laughs> Black Knights aren't super good with overdrive. All right, well, that's fair enough. I am almost done with Galactic Knight. Oh, actually, I am done. Oh, I didn't notice that. All right, so we finished Galactic Knight. If we want to become better at overdrive, which class should we work on next? You say I recommend controlling Ilma. Should I work on getting Jaguar? Yeah, I should, okay. We'll go Commando. The downside of this being that I'm going to not be able to use any of my abilities I've been loving. 
Oh no, I can still use the weapons, right? Because I, I learned them here. Is that how that works? Let's see. We'll find out. No, because I won't be able to use the arts anymore, right? Yeah, I won't be able to use the arts. Ooh. Oh, we have Shadow Strike from her quest, right? That's handy. I just need to switch the weapons, basically. So if I come to my character and and I set it to like using my saber instead of dual swords. This has to be a ranged weapon in the first one, right? So, I do dual guns and lightsaber. And then come back to my arts. Yeah, okay. You know, we didn't even use Starfall Blossom yet. Alright, so we got Starfall Blade. Starfall Rondo. Starfall Blossom. I mean, we use it, but we haven't leveled up about it. Galactic Cataclysm. This one uses TP. But it's strong, yeah? Costs a thousand TP to use it. I kind of feel like we should take one of the auras. Hmm. What was the early bird? What oh, is the new one? Boost crit, boost evasion. Yeah. Oh, Astro Heal, that's the one I was leaving up. The Astro Heal there. We don't, we don't need another attack. We have three attacks right there. Although we do need to level this one a little bit. Okay. What's the max level for these anyways? I think Cataclysm sucks. I mean, I tend to avoid the ones that cost TP for the most part. Because TP generates kind of slowly, at least right now. I'll make an exception for like heals. Do I not have any dual gun abilities at all? Like, these are all from my previous classes. Except for early bird. Early bird is like my only dual gun ability. That's interesting. And I guess you might as well put that on there for now. Any one of these buffs. Boost beam damage. Sure. I like boost beam damage. Although once again it costs TP, so I don't know how much I'm gonna use it. Oh, that's a heal. Sure. The big thing about TP damage arts is that they scale with potential rather than the melee and range attack, and they scale hard. So like potential is really, really strong, basically, is what you're saying. But then you have to use TP attacks, so you need to be able to generate TP quickly. Is there a way to generate TP more quickly? Is it just using weapons like dual guns because they shoot so fast? Is that the idea? Let me look at my guns real quick. And first of all, I probably can get better guns. <laughs> Obviously. Um... Filter by dual guns. When in overdrive, purple arts generate TP. Oh. Oh. Well, that's interesting.
It's interesting, like this one has 15, it's front attack plus a mechanoid slayer, which is pretty cool. But like, this one actually gives even more ranged attack, even though it's only six because it has a ranged attack up on it. Like ranged attack up is like, some, like it's a level one gun and it has a higher total ranged attack than the level 17 gun. kind of silly. Infinite Overdrive. Oh. It Yelv to two hard affinity in the mission for medium is... I don't... Okay, I haven't even met Yelv yet. Um, the purple arts generate TP on these little weak guns. Let's see what happens. Another thing is like, okay, could I be working on commando and not use any commando weapons? Like, can I just keep using my weapons I've been using, but be working on the other class, but just not using any of his abilities. Is that a thing you can do? Interesting. I might do that. Just because I don't have any, like, dual gun abilities. And if I use my, um... If I use my Psycho Launchers, I can debuff their beam resistance. Which is like, super powerful. It feels kind of crap to not be using <laughs> any of the abilities from my new class, but still. Um... TP's up with Smash Down. Let's keep it up. I should look at my new skills. I might have new skills. I haven't set them yet. Yeah, I only get two. Um we want beam damage. And our melee combos, probably. Gravity resistance. That's Black Ignite. Fast forward's nice. Stellar Intrigue. Boost GP by a thousand when boarding your skill. That's a lot of them. Um, synchrony. Boost skill melee. Okay, skill stuff. The commando at rank two is going to give us an evasion boost, accuracy boost, ranged attack boost at rank four. Damage when using melee arts from behind. That could be really good. Because that could stack with our other ones just if we go behind. Damage from range combos. Okay. Yeah. Fast forward and aura assault. Fast forward's nice. The fights don't go on that long right now that I have to worry about fast forward, but like later on I can see how that's gonna be huge. I wanna fight the level 30 guy. Way up there, okay. 
one of the uh, points is around here somewhere. I might be up above it, though. Full Metal Jaguar has some skills that make overdrive way easier to maintain. Okay. see any of the points from here. Not easily, huh? So if I continue along this top area, I don't know if it's going to get me anywhere, really. You should probably check it out, though. It'll be easier to check the bottom area later. items. Oh, we got our Moranium, too. Next time we get to a place we can teleport to, we should, um, head back. Turn in our Moranium before we max it out. Monsters in here are strong. We aren't really supposed to be up here right now. I like how even when there's lots of strong monsters, there's usually ways to just get around them. It's pretty nice. So I'm just gonna try to run by. Yeah. But down there seems like it might lead to something. We're a bit of a dead end here. So you can't use your map on the handheld thing while you're in a fight. I'm trying to see if I can find like a no pond village somewhere. up here. Next being sure. <laughs> Drop down.
Maybe level 50. <laughs> Someone's character's name is Gaiden. Person named person. Level 12. Dude, what are you doing here? We are like way off the grid here. We're just exploring for exploring's sake. We're not even making any progress. But it's fun to explore. I think we need to pull back for now though. I don't see any immediate reward for being here. Let's um... Let's get back to trying to find some of these nav points. There should be one to the southwest of here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm in Noctilum, is to survey some of it. That's like the whole reason I'm here. I'm just getting distracted by all the cool stuff. <laughs> like, I know I'm supposed to find the whole nav points and everything, but did you see the Nopon Bridge? You know? Did you see it, folks? It was all bridgy. Somewhere in the near vicinity, there should be one. Oh, right there. Strength comes from experience. That's true on any planet. All right, we're gonna turn this one in, and we're gonna go turn in our marinium before we max it out. And we'll come back here. Completely fine to be distracted, that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying myself, that's what matters, right? We're getting like 10,000 Meranium a tick now. That seems helpful. We're up to 12% in Noctum. Level Sakuraba to 5 and then Candid Incredible to 5? Okay. Is 5 the highest? Someone told me to do Sakuraba first, so I've just been focusing on it. I don't know any better. There's one to the northwest, like close by to the northwest. Like next hex over. I think even my cooking got better. But we're kind of in a weird place right now. Oh jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> we're fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Alright, north from here. Getting stronger. Great nail. Look at that thing. Oh my. Well, that's just gotta Here die. Come, oh shit. Hey, stay up. I 
feel better now that that's dead. <laughs> I don't need to be at 5 right now, but around level 50 it becomes important. Oh, we're nowhere near level 50. I've got Sakuraba at like 4 right now. So, they'll be at 5 long before then. There it is. Start with Starfall Blossom so you can get melee combo bonus to Starfall Blade. Starfall Blade recharges so quickly. It's like 10 seconds, I think. But sure. A lot of times I don't even end up using the Blossom sometimes. So I could, I should probably do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I like Zelda better than this, but this is fun. <laughs> like, when it's a game that you're just exploring, I don't know. Somehow, like, more of, like, just it being an action game instead of, like, an RPG kind of works. But this works, too. I don't really have much bad to say about this. I think the only issue that people have with this is that it's so different. Like... It doesn't feel like a Xeno game. It's a whole other kind of game. It's not a bad thing. It's just not what people were expecting, I'm sure. All right, we almost max out our Meranium every time it ticks now. We're getting 11, 461. We can hold 12,000. So, every time it ticks, we need to go drop it off. I'm going to have to look into upgrading my storage solution soon. But I only have, like, two storage ones, and they're both down and adjacent to each other. Um, alright. How are we doing on percentage here? We need to get it up to, what, 20%? We're at 13? There's a lot of points we haven't tried to touch on yet. I feel like maybe we should be heading for the ones more to the south than the ones to the north. Because likely the ones to the south theoretically be easier because you come in from the south. That symbol. Does it mean he can go underground? Here I come, son. We'll catch him off. I've got you, Captain Carrion. Shadow Spike. Hit him again for me. Up or down. Got it. Let's pack some more. Flying strong. We can free the edge. Right. This is our best match. Love it. Oh, also, Bo Blossom from the front also gives TP. That's true. Yeah, I've only got two storage probes. I placed both of them. Um. And you were also saying, like, what was it? Start with Starfall, so you get the melee combo bonus on Starfall Blade. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Alright, we're almost ranked two. Let's, keep, let's just head south, I think. We need to get back out of this little valley. Oh, hello. Oh! That was a thing. Oh, 
not in front of him, but he's over here. Okay. <laughs> Let's focus on killing him. Alright. 